Hello, I'm Kathleen Hall, and this is The Way I See It. I'm Kim Pierre, and this is The Way I See It. Well, it's April, and it's National Humor Month. <laughs> Humor and laughter and all those wonderful things. And who with tax season just being over? <laughs> and with our political climate and oh. natural disasters and everything else. How can I, you not laugh? Yeah, well, well it's, hard, you no, not? it's hard to laugh. That's why it becomes a spiritual and a mental health practice, seriously. Oh. That um, I studied with, um, you know, people like the Dalai Lama or Thich Nhat Hanh or even uh, health experts at universities on research on humor and, mm -hmm. and laughter. And so even in the worst of circumstances, it is a practice. It is a discipline almost. If you'll notice that um, Desmond Tutu, who went through apartheid, South Africa, horrible things, if you'll notice, the Dalai Lama, they go around and, and uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, they go around with a smile on their face. And it is a practice because mm. they feel that um, it, it changes everything and it changes the people that look at you. It changes your message, who you be as a person. And this is way before we had the science showing that when you smile, what, it, what hormones you release, what chemicals you release, your zygote muscles here in your face, how it changes everything, how it changes the expression of your eyes. So we thought it was just a spiritual practice and being kind, and now we actually know there are health benefits to it. But um, I, I know you heard this this week, too, because we talked about it. Barbara Bush, God rest her soul, died this week. Rest in peace. And um, the Enforcer. The Enforcer. Oh, I love her. <laughs> And um, in it, when they, uh, in, in several interviews, they asked her what was the core of her and George Bush's 73-year marriage. And uh, she said, that's simple. She said it was a sense of humor and laughter. She said that was the core because they were always, you know, whether he was with the CIA or he was a fighter pilot or, I mean, president, losing the presidency, the Gulf War, zillions of things that had gone on in their life, uh, the loss of a child of leukemia that they always came back to the bedrock of humor. Of humor. I have something to say. Um, so when I was in the military, I was stationed in Korea, and I'll never forget, I was working with security forces, and there was Captain Douglas. I'll never forget Captain Douglas. He always, he taught me about washing my face, and not literally, because of course my face is washed, but he used that expression with, with laughter. It changes your whole oh, emotion. Because at first, you know, I'm not saying that I didn't feel like I didn't belong with the security forces. I mean, I had a little bit more training than them. And I was I was helping them. But, um, you know, it was just certain things that went on with the, com with the commander and stuff like that. So he was like, oh, I learned this at a young age and you're, you're around the age that I was and I'm gonna let you know to wash your face. It's contagious. You have a great smile. You give off a different energy, and people are always going to be magnetic towards who you are. So wash your face, and so I, I always just emulate that. Yes, wash I your love face. That. <laughs> I love that. God, is that a cool <laughs> hook or whatever? Yeah. Wash, wash your, your face. face. What a great title for an article. I love it because that's really what it's about, and also the health benefits we just talked yeah. about. You get an immune boost. Uh, you can uh, when you laugh or smile. You uh, well, especially laughter. You actually create more blood in your heart because mm. you're laughing. You exercise your lungs and your abdomen and your face, and, and it relaxes you. Use less muscles when you Ab smile. Absolutely, yeah. it strengthens relationships. Think about it: that the relationships you have with friends, coworkers, and stuff. There's a bonding. There's a vulnerability. There's this uh, inner connection. Don't you think it's a it's heart special. connection? The minute we start laughing, and you you make a connection with your eyes too, because mm -hmm. you you're inviting someone into you know. Your smile, like I, I feel like that's totally interchangeable. Yeah, and they've done several studies that show on longevity. A lot of people are, most of the people, one of the things is they eat breakfast, of course. <laughs> of course. And another pretty consistent thing is they have a really good sense of humor. I love that. So how do you bring more humor into your life no matter what's going on? I mean, and seriously, starting a bad day, a flat tire, you go into work and one of the people you love has been let go or mm. uh, whatever, or your kids, you get the call from the principal, we've all had that, mm -hmm. and if you haven't, you're lying. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> um, so one of the first things you can do is the spiritual and physical and emotional practice of smiling. Another one is playfulness. We've written a lot of books, uh, there have been a lot of books written lately, and I've actually... Uh, Stuart Brown has one on playfulness, and and playfulness is a huge way to have a sense of humor and to laugh. 
we have lost it, uh, a lot of it, in our, in our computer age and in corporations. The war, again, political, social uh, effects. Uh, uh, all desensitization this. of violence. Yes, like. violence, exactly. You can't turn on the television uh, without seeing violence or pick up a paper. You're right. For anybody who has a newspaper anymore. <laughs> you? Um, yes. My husband loves I actually, I pick them up every day, guys. Yeah, I look, <laughs> I'm an online kind of person, but he has me read it. Um, but he loves to read the paper. He does know a bunch of junk, too. He like, he does. He's like the data manager and the news manager of the planet. So there is a lot to be said. But playfulness... And, um, and so don't look, pl be playful with your kids, with your spouse, with your coworkers, with your neighbors. Um, it will change every single thing about your relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and then be playful with animals. Have an animal in the house. We know that that creates a sense of humor. No matter how serious you want to get, think about you and I working. And Grace, we have two dogs, yeah, and, and a cat running around, a, a tripod, three-legged cat. <laughs> so... Don't we? We'll be sitting there, and all of a sudden he'll burst out laughing, and I'll look up and look over, and the dogs are doing God, Craziness. God knows Craziness, what. Craziness, guys. But no matter how serious you want to get, don't they? Yeah, it makes you feel good. And good also, news. keep you know, I have Jack Russells, of course. So when you throw a ball, they, they play with them. They are, are animals. They're so playful. Yeah. And if you look at horse behavior, we were in the horse business, cats, all animals, birds, they have a playful nature about them. Mm -hmm. That's why they bend down and they learn to play. It's part of the survival uh, instincts of any any being born on the planet is playfulness. When you lose that, you really uh, change everything about you. Now you can have hashtag LOL. There's all kinds of funny stuff online. Go to YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. Funny videos are yeah, always trending. Always trending. Uh, it just Animal shows, videos. Yeah. Always. Television. Watch, <laughs> watch. If you really get down, watch two. You cannot watch two Seinfelds. Or two modern families. Can you believe without that? Without yeah. laughing. You're right, you're Don't right. you think? I love it. Unless you have a lobotomy scar. And, <laughs> and if you're watching it with somebody you love and just kind of feel if you don't see it, they may have covered it. Listen to her. But, and also games. Play games. Yeah. Yeah. Play games um, if you have to online. That's okay. <laughs> but try to play board, board games, games. Or get outside. They have the, If you just even have a small apartment complex, you can get these little like tennis games and stuff that are plastic oh, that you get on pull. Amazon that you put them up and hit the ball mm. and, and laughter. That'd be good you know? for the summer. Yeah, that'd be great for the summer. Um, and if you really want to play and be um, do laughter, go to Walmart or a place and get the 12-inch blue swimming pools like I get <laughs> and put your little skinny bathing suit on with a beautiful body like I have and then play with your dogs in the water. And your neighbors will really love you with the hose. And I hope you don't have floaties on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on my thighs. <laughs> I don't wear them on my arms and around my neck. So that's for me. Humor, sense of humor. Okay. She's a, she has a great one. I feel like that's really um, projected how she uses her energy in life, and I try to emulate what she does. So. And, you know, I had a really, 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 really tough time. I know, that's what I... And, but my mother was funny. I mean, as evil and demonic as my father was... Mm. Um, and, and the stuff we survived from mm. him in our lifetime. My mother was pretty frigging funny. She was I always remember. funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks. Um, my name is Kim Pierre. This is the way I see it. And I'm Kathleen Hall. This is the way I see it. <laughs> Smile, please. Have a great week, guys.